Hello everybody and welcome to Organic Health Nut. Today I'm going to demonstrate my very own homemade gluten-free phyllo. So phyllo, you could use it for puff pastries, you could even use it to make a uh, Greek spanakopitas or Greek toropitas. And what those are, they're just basically spinach pies. And um, normally you buy the phyllo from a grocery store and unwrap it and you put your spinach in there and you bake it. However, they're all made with gluten and with preservatives and there are so many other bad ingredients in there. I will never ever touch a phyllo in my life unless it is gluten free and that I make it myself at home. So I figured out this amazing recipe that I've created my own at home um, and I used a one cup of Bob's Red Mill gluten-free bean garbanzo bean flour with one cup of spring filtered water. That's it. That is my ingredient. So two ingredients, Bob's Red Mill gluten-free bean garbanzo bean flour and one cup of spring filtered water, period. And here I have a double boiler. So I have my pot filled with spring um, water. And then here I have my, um, my uh, pan and that's where I'm going to paint the phyllo on. And once it um, kind of dries up, you peel it from the pan and it's going to be really interesting. So it's just basically the steam that's going to make this happen. So I put this on. It's obviously on high right now. And I'm going to show you my mixture. So this is my gluten-free garbanzo bean by Bob's Red Mill flour with one cup of spring filtered water. And the consistency for this ingredient is just perfect. And you can make a lot of wraps with that much with only one cup of the flour and one cup of the water. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm just going to paint this on. And as you can see, as, take your time, you know, like there's no rush. Um, as you can see, it's already drying up. I just paint it. Okay. So this is definitely very fun and um, to do. Um, it, you know, for some people it will take a little bit of time, but um, you can definitely do this um, on your spare time. Um, people that work from nine to five, I definitely recommend you do this um, on the weekend or at night when you come home from work. So it's been painted on my pan. I'm just going to wait till it dries up a little bit and once it dries up that's when I just basically peel, peel it. The fun begins. So I, I painted this and now I'm just going to wait for it to dry up. And once it dries up, then that means I'm gonna, it's ready for me to, it's ready to be peeled off the pan, okay? So don't worry about the smoke from the sides, obviously because it's a double boiler, so that's going, that's bound to happen. You could always put this on low if you like. So as you can see the sides are peeling off and obviously they're gonna like they're gonna basically crisp up and they're gonna like come off it's not gonna be perfect around the perimeter but that's okay because it's phyllo right phyllos are like that so what I normally do is I put my hand over it to make sure see I started pretty 
early because the the water was not boiling as much as it is right now but that's okay lesson learned for the next time right this took me a while to accomplish um it's always good to try out things you know just so you'd know for yourself right we're all learning here on organic health nut as we go Just make sure your pot and your pan fit uh, for a double boiler because unfortunately if it doesn't you're going to have situations where they're going to slide off which is okay you know like it's bound to happen. So now I'm going to peel it well let's just see if it's almost ready to peel it. So in the center part I could feel like it's a little damp still but that's okay. Okay, that's we're gonna give it a go. Okay, perfect. So I'm peeling off guys, so as you can see here, it's getting peeled, okay? Just um future reference so every time fyi mind you when you do this make sure you you have grapeseed sorry grapeseed oil or avocado oil handy because you don't want your fuel to dry up okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna smither that paint it with your oil and you're gonna cover it with um a um you're gonna cover it with a cloth okay just so it won't dry okay you can make it as thick as you want or as thin as you like, depending on what you're going to make. Okay. So sometimes, because um, it depends on how you paint it, so sometimes it tends to get stuck um, in areas where it's too thick and then you just basically peel it with either your finger tips or your um, fork but this is your phyllo as you can see it came out pretty thin and as you can see you can still bend it you can do anything you like to this okay so that's one I'm going to show you another one here. Give me a second. Okay. There we go. So we're going to do another one for you guys, okay? Because now the water is pretty hot. So this is going to turn out better. See, as you can see, this one's drying up faster. So just paint it on your pan. There we go. I think I did a good job with painting here. Okay, now yet again, same routine. You're going to wait till it dries. And how you know if it's ready when the perimeter is um, drying up and it's peeling itself, then you're going to peel it completely, okay? So it depends on how thick or how thin you do it. it when you do it thinner, it, it finishes, you know, it, it finishes faster. Um, and you can peel it faster, but when it when you make it thick, unfortunately, it takes more time. So depending 
depending on what you're going to make with this phyllo, okay? It is very delicate. It's very, very delicious. You can enjoy it. You can make puff pastries. You could add coconut whipped cream inside um, with um, jam, strawberry jam, with cinnamon, vanilla, and you can wrap it up and you could like put chocolate all over it. Very, very good. If you have guests coming over, then you bake it in the oven. Very nice and crispy and golden. Um, if you want to make spinach pies, you could obviously make your inside your ingredients and then you could put it all inside of it. You could brush it with ghee butter um, or coconut oil and you could bake it in the oven on 350 degrees. Not for so long because everything is already cooked for the spinach pie, for instance. Um, and then you're just wrapping it up or if you wanted to do it raw and then bake everything all at once, um, depending on the time, 20 minutes, maybe 15 on 350. So as you can see, the perimeter is already um, peeling itself. That means it's almost done. This took me a long time to uh, to create, um, but because I love phyllo and I love my pastries, I love my Greek spinach pies, but unfortunately I couldn't have any because they were all filled with gluten and I can't have gluten. So I just decided to make my own. All right guys, I'm gonna peel this. So when I peeled it a quarter way, it was still stuck sticking to the pan, meaning that it's not done yet. Well, you could start peeling, you know, like the... You can st start peeling it till you think it's like it's not ready yet, like the middle part. And then later on that will fin it, um, get ready and you can peel that all together at once. Okay. Obviously the pan gets a little hot, but you know what? You gotta just make sure there's no kids around you when you do this. Um, be very, very patient. As I said, you need to be extremely patient when you do this. This isn't like it's not, good, nothing, you know, like it's not gonna turn out very quickly. It's gonna take a lot of time. And if you want something perfect, you gotta, patience is a virtue. You have to wait for everything, okay? You have to be very patient these days. Okay, now I'm peeling it off, see? It's sticking a little bit because it's not ready yet. It's still very um, damp in certain areas, but that's okay. If it sticks, that's okay. It's not. It doesn't mean that you did a bad job, okay? So it takes time and it takes practice, okay? So this it, this one didn't actually stick as much, but yet I'm gonna show you. So this is how it looks like. Let's bring this my camera here a little bit so I can show you. So this is the phyllo. You see how thin it is? It's extremely thin. It's bendable. It's bendable again and again and again. Extremely thin, okay? And what I normally do with this is I have my grapeseed oil or my avocado oil handy. I'm going to paint this with the oil and I'm going to cover it with a um, towel so it doesn't dry up and when you're ready to use it you're going to remove it you're going to put your ingredients all in here you could triple the phyllo if you like if you want to make it really puffy um if you want to make it I don't know whatever you're going to make with it you know depending on your your recipe but this is my recipe for homemade gluten-free dairy-free, egg-free, sugar-free, wheat-free phyllo. It's extremely thin, guys. And you can actually make it thinner than this. Or you can make it thicker. Anything you like. You can even make a very thin-looking pizza with this. That would be really extremely interesting. But yet again, guys, my phyllo right here. This is gluten-free phyllo. And two ingredients, homemade. There's nothing bad in here. And you could do it yourself at home. As I said, patience is a virtue. It's gonna take time. You're gonna you're you're gonna take time doing this. It's time consuming. But at the end of the day, it's worth it. Okay? You're eating something healthy, you're eating something delicious that you can eat. You can finally eat it.
unfortunately i cannot have my greek spinach pies and i love them but now i can i can enjoy as much as i want of them because i made my own gluten-free phyllo look at that look at that and you know what i wish you could feel this but it feels extremely soft like silky and then on this part where it was painted it's like rough but that part where i peeled it from from the pan it feels extremely silky and soft anyways guys thank you so much for watching please like and share us with your family and friends organic health nut i have a youtube channel called organic health nut please go on that and subscribe to my channel i would really really appreciate it um I would love more followers if you can please um, spread the word about Organic Health Nut. I am here to make things very, to make recipes healthier and easier for your home as it is in my home here. And um, please sign up to our newsletter. Um, there's a sign up button when you go on Organic Health Nut fan page. Please click on the sign up button and sign up. It's very simple. Just Put your email that's all we need is your email address okay and um so you could receive more recipes health tips and tricks and so on more thanks so much